Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, hit the red subscribe button down below and that'll keep you up to date with all my new content coming soon. So today I thought I'd talk about more about child minding as I've been asked so many times to do another child minding video, which I'm so happy that you're really enjoying them. Everybody has been saying, yeah, do a child minding video. So I was thinking about doing a Follow Me Friday um, child minding and this week has literally flown by that I haven't even had time to do it. So I might have to skip the Follow Me Friday. Hold on, by the time this video goes up, it would be last Friday. So I'm gonna have to skip the Follow Me Friday from last week and then film it next week, this is getting confusing, um, for the following Follow Me Friday, which I thought would be different, exciting, and hopefully we'll have better weather because this week has been horrendous and we've had rain every single day, so the kids haven't been able to go on the grass. Um, but I'm hoping that I can get it all the garden set up and show you our outdoor setting and things like that so that'll be nice and exciting to do so today I am rambling on a bit but never mind <laughs> I thought I'd do um what am I doing so today I thought I'd do our most used items I've done our most used paperwork so I'll link that down below or you can follow it on the child minding playlist but I thought I'd do our most used items because it's all right saying that we use this and this and this but I'd rather show you what we've got and what we actually use so you've got it in your head and maybe you can choose it to your your setting as well so the number one thing that we use pretty much every single day is our printer make sure you get a good printer one that you can print out pictures on one that you can maybe scan and one that is cheap enough on the inks because it's all right buying a cheap printer but when it comes to buying the inks some of them are so expensive it's crazy we slipped up this time we were so desperate for a new printer ours broke randomly in the middle of the week so we had to go and get one and to be honest it's not as good as what our last one was the inks are coming out way too expensive so i've had to diy them and fill them um, with refillable ink and like pour the ink into the inks which is going all right but my god is it a mess it just goes everywhere so definitely buy a good printer you can also put it through your tax depending on what you use it for so if you would use it for your house then you probably have to do 50 50 maybe but i never use it it is literally just solely for charm winding on the terms of technology uh, a good laptop or a good printer so you can um print out all these pictures all the documents anything like that um we have just invested in a mac so i was able to put some of that through my tax as well under a capital gains allowance um and it is doing really really well it's so much faster than what we had last we had a hp no we didn't we had a aus asus i think they call them something like that and it was super slow it took forever to get the printer to get connected to it and everything like that so we upgraded, put it through on our tax, and it is so, so much better, it really is. And one more for the technology, technology side of things would be a good camera to take all of these lovely pictures on. We invested in a camera when we first started and it was so blurry, so rubbish, that by the time that we printed all the pictures out, they weren't as good quality as what we'd like them to be. So we have started doing them on our phones. We've both got iPhones and the pictures are coming out brilliant. So we have been doing them that way. So I'm going to leave the technology side of things now. And I'm going to go on to toys. Because some of these toys behind me are literally... Ugh, I can't speak today. I can't do it. Some of these toys behind me are used every single day, multiple times a day, because they are the kids' favourite. So these green boxes are our new toys, which have been, well, not really new toys, our new boxes. And they, have, they are like the most used toys. So starting from this side, we've got cars, baby, um, big chunky toys. Um, a ball roller, which we found in the car boot cell. You can put balls down, you can put water down it. It's really, really cool. You can also put it in the sand pit outside and put the sand down it, which also then links to the EYFS side of things. Um, then we've got action figures and toys like that. And then, hold on, I can't see. Trains, Peppa Pig, Toolbox, Ben 10, and we've got one more, the Puppets. They are out every single day. The kids absolutely love them. 
as soon as they come running in, they're the toys that they want. So apart from that, the next definitely get your hands on are plastic phones. You can get them from car boot sales, you can get them on eBay, but they are real phones that have been used, like X display ones that they use in the shops. So they've got a blank screen. I'll show you what I mean. I've managed to find one, but the kids had them today and they've hidden them everywhere. This was in the train box. So it is literally like a real phone that has been used inside of a phone shop. Oh, screen, come on, focus. And it's just really, really cool looking. The kids love it because they think it's real. It doesn't make any sounds, but they can click all the buttons and things like that. So they are really good to invest in because we do have four, but I've managed to find one. <laughs> Probably our next most used toy is our Play-Doh, which is kept on the top shelf right up there just because it makes such a mess. And when it's baby day, it's probably not the best day to be unsupervised. So we get all the kids around the table. We all have a piece of Play-Doh. We all play it. And then when everybody starts to drop off, we start to scoop it up and narrow it back down to a smaller size, more manageable, less messy. <laughs> Some of our children are really enjoying eraser boards at the minute. It is literally like a magnet. They can draw on it and pull the uh, eraser down and it gets rid of the picture. It's sort of like the etch -a sketcher but a bit more updated I'd say um they absolutely love them we put them all over the carpet we've got four or five of them and they just sit and doodle and then wander off some of them are old enough to actually carry them with them and they'll go and play with their toys on the top of it and maybe draw around them um it's just good something that the boys because we're trying to get more on the boys to do more hand um fine motor skills because they really are not interested at the minute so we've been trying our best, maybe using magazines, we've been using uh, little packets, um, what do you call them, little pencil cases with a pencil, a pad, a rubber, a ruler in so that they can walk around, they've got little straps on them and they can take them out into the garden and things like that. But that only lasted about a week and then they got bored of them. But at the minute these are going really, really well and the boys absolutely love joining in with each other and drawing around trains and stuff. So it's, it's going good, it's going good. This week we have been trying to add some more stuff in our tap tap box. If you haven't seen my other video, our tap tap box is the most favourite item of all the children. As soon as we say tap tap box, they will dive to the carpet and sit down and play with this game. So it has a little rhyme. Would you like me to tell you how it goes? <laughs> tap tap box, tap tap box. Miles, Miles, what's in the box? Then Miles will come up and pick something out of the box. Each week is letter orientated or topic orientated or anything like that. Anything that you're doing in your set and you can just narrow it down to that. So ours is M at the minute. So we've been trying to add some more stuff this week. So we've got a mouse. We've got music. We've got mountains. And then we've got some touchy-feely objects. So we've got a map. A lovely map there we've got money we've got a mouse we've got a real piece of music and we've got a monkey and the older children will come and help us to actually fill the box which is really nice um, so we'll tell them M -m -m -m, and they'll go around and start picking up stuff that is completely wrong but sometimes they get it right and they are so happy and then it goes in the box and they can say like oh I did that one I found that one and put it in the box oh we've also got me a cat <laughs> so that is a really big favourite I highly recommend doing it and then next we've got our boxes over here I will show you these are used every single day. I'm using one as a stand at the minute. <laughs> so they're really versatile. You can use them for anything. Um, each child has their own name. The older children will find their own name from the side of this unit. Hold on, which way is my finger going? The side of this unit here. Um, they will come in, put all their bags in it, pass, us our, pass me their lunch boxes, which will go into the kitchen. And they can use and put anything in their trays throughout the day that is from home. So the children don't actually play with the boxes they are literally for stuff from home or going home sorry we can keep receipts in there that are going to the parents we can keep paperwork really information 
really information, really important information in the boxes and we know that they're safe. I would say our parent notice board is probably next most used item um, but unfortunately today I am redoing it and starting a new one. On our parent notice board is first of all our keep me home if I am sick, ill, tired, sore throat, eye infection, fever, uh, diarrhea, rash, head lice and nits. And the parents can read this and they know exactly when not to bring the child. Because you'd be surprised how many children actually turn up that have walked through the door and literally gone straight home because they are so ill. It is just a handy way of not having to tell a parent over and over again, don't bring them in if they've got this, don't bring them in if they've got this, because they can just see it on the door straight away. We also have what we're doing for the month, we also have our topic, and we also have any holiday dates on there, so the parents can clearly see it and they don't have to ask us again. Um, we also send them in little newsletter things, slips that go in the boxes and then go home. But if they ever lose that, it's just on the door and they can see it straight away. Um, we normally have birthdays on it, but that sort of went a bit downhill and it never actually went back on the board. But I'm thinking of doing maybe one of these clear ones and then I can um, whiteboard pen it so we can rub it off and then do the next child, which I thought would be really nice because then they can see. Or maybe even put a picture of their face on it or something like that, which will be really nice for them to see when they're walking in in the morning. And then we have our sticker books, which the kids absolutely love. I can't believe how well they've gone. We have our Smelly Belly Awards. What is a Smelly Belly, I hear you ask? A Smelly Belly is a little creature that has a smelly belly, basically. This one's like lemon or custard or something. Something really, really sweet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Lemon. And each one has a different tummy. We have someone's bib in here. Whoops. Uh, each one has a different smell on their tummy. Strawberries. And they win a lovely little certificate that I created on the computer myself. Laminated it and they think it's fantastic. Um, each child will win a Smelly Belly Award and little teddy once a month. Whoever gets the most stickers in their books. And they win the stickers by being nice, being kind, saying thank you, please, without even being asked. Whatever they have done that makes them, that makes me go, oh, that's nice, well done you, I will give them a sticker. So it could be just taking their shoes off without me having to do it, or putting their coat on the hanger, or for the little ones just finishing their lunch, or um, I don't know, a load and loads of different reasons why they get a sticker. But it gets written down in their sticker book, which the kids love because they can choose their own sticker as well. And they just get sent home with one of these at the end of the month and the parents love it. So I would say that is all for our most used stuff. But obviously look at how much stuff is behind me. Literally everything is being used. We've got dolls, we've got prams, we've got puzzles, jigsaws, music box. Uh, more puzzles, fuzzy felt. Do you know what fuzzy felt is? That's a really good one. It's a piece of felt on a board like this and they can just stick shapes on and things. Um, and then we've got our craft boxes, but there's just so much that I need to tell you and I just can't fit it into one video. I'm also going to be doing another planning video. I was pulled up on it last time for using the wrong um, EYFS areas, which I had no idea I was doing so wrong, um, but I really was. So I had missed out um, one of the boxes and I have now updated all of that. Do you know when you just, you're so used to using the same paperwork over and over again that you generally just forget to update it when the EYFS gets changed. But I was using it and it was fine and I was linking it to the new EYFS so there was nothing wrong in that sense. But on my piece of planning paper it's just the wrong words. Um, so I'm going to be doing a new one of that on growing because we've just started slash finished our growing topic. We've been doing it over two months so we've got quite a lot to do. Um, but most of it now is the children to do at home. So I will tell you all about that in my next child minding video. So I hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And maybe leave a comment below what you'd like to see as well. And I think that might be it. So I'll see you soon. Bye!